Peace and love, Warrior family. Welcome back to my channel, Hashtag Women's Kitchen. And if you're new here and you are passing by and you stop and you subscribe, welcome, welcome to the family. Okay, guys, let's just go ahead and jump right into another video. The first thing is first, always in Women's Kitchen, what do we do? Wash our hands. Hope all is well. Okay, guys, um, I have... Another easy, simple recipe for you guys. You know, guys, you know, I was telling you guys on another video, you know, I just go in the kitchen and just come up with a meal, okay? Well, I guess it was a couple weeks ago, I was in um, Dollar Tree. And guess what I found in Dollar Tree? It says, artisan, crafted, creamy, jalapeno bacon, enriched macaroni, product with cheese sauce. So, I decided to try it. Um, like I say, I really don't go by recipes, but a, you know, a box, this is a box. So it just says, stir pasta into six cups of boiling water, which I had some boiling water going over here in my pot. It says, cook 10 to 13 minutes or until pasta is tender, stirring occasionally. You drain your pasta and just add your cheese, I guess, just like a box, right? So, Let's just go ahead and open this up. We have our cheese sauce. And these are the noodles. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop those in there. Just like that. We're going to do that just like that. Okay, let me get me a big spoon here. What y'all been up to? Just get a big spoon here. And another thing is, when I do macaroni, guys, I've been, I've, I've been doing this for many, many years. Uh, why? I just do. I always put a, a drop or two of oil in my water along with a little salt, okay? So we're just going to let that boil. Now, okay, here we go with the twist thing, guys, okay? I, like I said, I always just make up things, you know, but it tastes good. And I know it does because when I was cooking, hey. So, but what I am going to do, I have some flake white albacore tuna. Let's go ahead and open that up because I'm going to add some tuna to it. I'm just gonna add one. I'm just gonna add one can. Let's just drain the water off the tuna, okay? I'm just gonna add just this one can. Find me a bowl to put it in. I guess I don't have to. I can just do it from the can. And I always rinse the top off. The tuna, I don't know why I do that, but I do. I always did. Just a habit of mine. Old habits is hard to break sometimes, guys. <laughs> but here is the tuna that I'm going to be using. Okay. Okay. Check on our pasta over here. And also, what I am going to do as well, I'm going to add some mushrooms to it. I sure am. Let me open that up and pour the water off of that. Yeah. Ah. Don't y'all hate when the tab just breaks off like that? Man. Let's get it open now. Oh, what's going on? I'll have to use a knife. That sucker, I don't know. There we go. That's what we do in the kitchen, guys. Look, just use a knife. 
and get that sucker right on open. Be careful like that, okay? Let me go ahead and pour that water off of there. And I'm just going to use this bowl right here. Little bowl here. I'm going to pour those in there. Because I'm going to chop them up a little bit. I don't want them that big. So we'll do that like that. And just go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and... Just kind of rough chop them a little bit. Because, you know, they, they you know you have pieces in here. But uh, some of them, they are pretty big, you know. But I'm just rough. I'm just kind of rough chopping them a little bit, you know. Just like that. And like I say, I love mushrooms, raw vegetables, anything like that. I, I always have. like that because I'm going to add those in there too mm -hmm. like I say just go in the kitchen look in your cabinets see what you got throw a meal together oh it'll be good okay let's check on our pasta very very quick recipe Okay, and I also I'm going to use this right here because what I plan on doing, guys, <laughs> when when I drain the pasta and everything, and then I'm going to put it in here, I'm going to put that cheese in there, but what I'm, I'm going to put that cheese in there, but I'm going to put the tuna and the mushrooms, and then I'm going to add more cheese to it. I'm going to stick it in the oven. So what we need to do, let's go ahead and turn our oven on. And I just turned it right on right now, 400, okay? And we're going to try something in here. To, we're going to try something in here today. Okay, guys, as you guys know, this is January. So what is January? Tax season is getting ready to start. So, and I do, I work seasonal. So, I'm a seasonal worker. And uh, we are so busy. Of course, all tax people are busy at this time. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, it's that time of year. Y'all go ahead and get your taxes filed early. Even if you owe. Go ahead and get it filed early because if you owe and you wait to the last minute, that which is everybody knows is April the fifteenth, and you owe, they want that money on April the fifteenth if you owe taxes. So you don't want want no uh, you, you really want to go ahead and file in a way. You know what I'm saying? Even if you do owe. So you can start getting that money together. So on the 15th, you can throw a payment up in there. Okay, you know what I'm saying, guys. <laughs> Why, you know, people, oh, but that's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? I wish everybody could get some of their money back because we, we work hard. You know what I'm saying? You work hard all year long and you want your money. So it's that time of year, guys. So y'all start getting your stuff together, your tax papers, get all that stuff together. Uh, they, they have to the end of the month, the end of the month, you give you y'all's W-2s of your employer. But, you know, a lot of people come in. We have some people come in before the 31st because the small companies, they go ahead and give them their W-2s, okay? So that's how that's going. Let's go ahead and cut this bag. I've never used this before, guys, so. But we're going to cut that open. Oh, wow. That was supposed to have some little bacon up in there. Okay, we'll see about that, too. Okay, yeah. Wash my hands again. I use a lot of paper towels, guys, because 
I always, I'm always washing my hands back and forth, all the time washing my hands. That's just me. I've always done that. Because I also used to work in the medical field as well. And, you know, when you work in the medical field, you have to sanitize, sanitize, wash, wash, wash your hands constantly. I'm talking about hundreds, hundreds of times a day. If not thousands, I mean every 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 other, I mean all time, all time. You're just washing, washing, washing your hands and stuff, and sanitizing, which that's a good thing there. Okay, our oven is on. Like I say, guys, I just be making up stuff, honey. That's what you call survival. If you ever know what survival is. <laughs> and plus, you know, plus guys, as you know, too, you know, I've been doing very well. Thank you guys so much. I've been doing very well. As you guys can see, my videos, um, I had my big New Year's feast there. And after New Year's, I have been doing very well eating vegetables, tuna, I did have some thin sliced uh, honey ham and roast beef, but uh, that's basically about it. That's what I've been doing, smoothie and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm trying, you know, now one day this week I am going to go get me some catfish because I do want some catfish and I will fry that, okay? Okay. Those noodles, uh, uh just about another minute, but those noodles is just like the way I like them. You know, I don't like my my any noodles, spaghetti noodles, uh, any curly noodles. I don't like them just mushy. No, I don't like that. So, I got my drain there. One thing about this pot here, these will get hot at times. Like now, it's not too hot. But it's get for some reason it's it's it seems like it's getting hot. But when I first got this pot, but I've been had this over twenty. This year, these pots here, I've been had these pots twenty four years. This year, because I got them in two thousand as a gift. Oh, uh, two thousand one, so it'd be twenty three years. Yeah, I got them in two thousand one as a set. It was a whole set uh, from Corning. Corning wear. So this pot is 23 years old. So it, it, it's kind of getting hot for some reason. And, and I guess so over the years. But what I am going to do, this side is, is, is more hotter. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is just how I want them. I don't, I just don't want them to uh, done. So I'm going to go ahead and drain these. Okay. Just like that. Okay, got those drained. Okay, and I'm going to just put those right in there, just like that. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead, turn that eye off. I'm going to go ahead and drop my tuna up in there. I'm just going to drop the tuna up in there just like that. Mm-hmm. And what I am going to do, guys, I am going to throw some olive oil. A little olive oil over there as well. Just like that. Mm-hmm. I'll just mix that. Let me use the spoon to do that. Just mix that olive oil up in there like that too. A lot of those noodles. I can just see the oil on there. Just pretty, guys. And if you wanted to, if you're cooking for a family, I would suggest using about, I would use about two or three cans of tuna if you're, if you got a family you're cooking for. I'm just putting one can in there. 
And I'm going to throw some of these mushrooms in there as well. Just like that. Oh, man. I think what I'm going to do is use the whole can of mushrooms. Because I love mushrooms. And just do that like that. And what I am going to do, though, guys, before I put my cheese over there, I'm going to get me some seasoning. And I am going to use... And I think I have some put that on everything. I'm going to use... Oh, my onion. I'm going to put a little bit of oh, my onion season over there like that. And put that on everything seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit of that on there just like that. I don't want to put too much seasoning on there. And stir that in just like that. And now go ahead and take your package. And just put that cheese over there. Just like that. I like to make sure I get everything out of there, guys. Uh, <laughs> roll it down. There you go. I got it, basically. But roll it down and get all that out of there. All of it. Okay. And go ahead... And just stir that up in there. Oh, wow. Just like that. Mm-hmm. It's looking good, looking good, guys. Huh? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. It says bacon, jalapeno, say it right, with a little bacon. If you had some bacon bits, which I don't have any of those, these I looked in my cabinet. I normally keep bacon bits, so I need that. That's on my list to get some bacon bits, guys. Mmm. What I am going to do, thank you, Lord, for the food, amen. I'm going to kind of put a taster on it, just like this. Let me taste it first, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. It got the bacon flavor. You can taste the bacon flavor. Get y'all a bite. Mmm. 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 The little seasoning I put on there is just enough. You don't need to put any more kind of season on there. I put a little of my onion. Get it all. And what I am going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this Fiesta blend over it. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Just like that, put that fiesta blend over it. Kind of. Mm hmm. And then, I'm going to take some of these cubes. Like I said, go in your kitchen. And I'm just going to kind of cut this over it like that as well. Just like that. It's not going to take long. What is it like a jalapeno? What we what we calling the guy the jalapeno? Um, tuna casserole. Just just very simple. I told y'all I'm bringing simple recipes that you can go in your kitchen, and what you probably I already have this in your kitchen. Some cheese in there. Just kind of 
Just putting it like that. It's not going to take long. Just, just chop some little. Let's see, we got to put some right here. Okay, now what we're going to do is just stick it in the oven and let that cheese melt. And the oven's already hot. So we're going to do that like that. Mm, I love cheese. Okay, that can go in the trash. I always like to rinse my tuna cans out before I throw them in the trash. I rinse them out with hot water. Let me turn this around. Hey, guys. <laughs> I'm just rinsing my tuna, tuna can out because I don't like to throw my tuna can in my trash, in my trash gas with, uh, without rinsing it, make the trash smell gas, really does. Okay, I did it, I'm trying to, y'all, follow me around when I'm doing stuff like this. Let me get my towel here. Just go ahead and wipe this off here. Wipe my little stove off. Make sure you guys leave a small comment. Hit the hit that like up button, like up button for me. I would appreciate y'all if y'all would hit the like button and just say a little comment. You can just put yummy. Oh, that looks good. Just a small comment, okay? But other than that, that's what we're gonna do. But this is the part that I want to learn how to do. Okay, it's like, okay, like I just finished that up, right? And I put it in the oven, right, just to melt that cheese. The part I'm, 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 I'm trying to learn how to do is from the time that I put it in the oven, then you pause it or whatever, I, I don't know, I'm learning. And when you the clip come back, then you have your finished product. That's what I want to learn how to do. Throw this away. And plus this cheese. I, I like to use. I don't like to waste food guys at all. So. And. Uh, how did y'all like the smoothie? It was so good guys. I have this. Uh, I'm just going to tell you. Uh, last year. Sprouts sent out. You know they sent out their pamphlet with. Like five dollars out fifty and stuff like that, but last year they sent this, and I wanted to show you guys. B boost your immune system with juices and smoothies. Ooh, when you can read backwards, that means you're smart, you're good. <laughs> I'm just so silly. But look at this, guys. Take a look at this. You can screenshot it if you guys like. Because we have our Berry Blast Smoothie, our Zesty Ginger Juice. What is that other one there? What does that say? Tropic, Tropic Kale Juice and Super Powered Apple Juice. There we go. So you guys can screenshot this. And you can make you any type of smoothie. Keep your smoothies going, guys. Keep your smoothies going. Okay, and I try to keep it on the side of my fridge where my my little mixer is. So you know, I I love this one. The carrot, the oranges, and the ginger, amazing. I love that. And then you can substitute like I did the avocados, carrots, and ginger, and blueberries. I did that, but I'm gonna have to get some kale. And got kale, pineapple, and lemons. And then of course. I was looking, you know what, guys? Let me tell y'all, you know I told you that I have sea moss, right? And I was out. I looked, it was in the freezer. I was, you know, rearranging my freezer, right? And I looked in there, look what I found me a little bitty jar of sea moss. I sure did. Let me show y'all. Um, 
I sure did. And this is uh, Sahara. Her name is Sahara Seamoss Gel. Contains 92 of the body's 102 needed minerals. And this one says, Iris Seamoss Spring Water Organic Fruit and Organic Agave Nectar. And I found this because you can freeze it. You see how that is? You can freeze it. And I, I remember I had about like three or four jars, right? And so I had uh, left two out, and I had froze, and I had forgot. I had the one at the front, but I guess I had it in the back. So I do have some sea moss. Get you guys some sea moss. Take one spoonful. Uh, put it in your smoothies. You know what I'm saying? Put it in your drink, whatever. But I like to take a spoonful of it at night or in the daytime. And then, I, you know, I take a, uh, like one good spoonful a day. You can take two. But, yeah. I end up found that and I pulled it down and put it in the um come on, I'm gonna turn it up because I want the uh all the cheese to melt. We're 26 minutes, guys. I'm gonna put this cheese back in my fruit. I get, you know what? This little bit, I should have just stuck it on there. <laughs> ah, but uh But she did, like I say, let me turn it all the way up. Maybe it'll, because we just want the cheese on it to melt real good. Yeah, we just want that cheese just to melt real good. I'm not trying to do it like no macaroni and cheese or anything, but, but yeah. So, but yeah, that's what's going on over here at Wilma's house. Yeah, see, like we're at 26 minutes. And 56 seconds, and like this, like this is what I'm talking about. Like, uh, I want to cut it down, put it in, edit it, and just cut it down. I want all my videos to be no more than 16 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because I do understand when your videos is, is and I'm an in interesting person. You know what I'm saying? You know, but and but a lot of people have their videos forty five, an hour, two hours, and stuff. So my my attention span, I'll be like, okay, let's get to it. Boo, 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 boo. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I really want to basically learn how to edit that like that. And so, but I do have Canva. So uh, if anybody kind of knows on here, you know, I take uh, all suggestions and, you know, my um, I love to learn, you know what I'm saying? I have Canva, so I'm going to read up on that and stuff and, you know, see how you do stuff like that as well, you know, so like I always say, guys, y'all be patient with me. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys, you know, because, you know, uh, rocking with me. And like I say, this channel, we're going to grow this channel together. And I just appreciate if, you know, I'm not saying every video, but share the video every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I would appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Cheese is melting on there. I'll say a few more minutes, so y'all got to put up with me for a few more minutes. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted just a little bit. Of, I just wanted to try something just to see. So we're at 29 minutes. So I figure about 30 minutes. It'll probably go. Because we're going to put a little taste to it. Put this little plate right there. We'll put a little taste to it just to see what it tastes like. But I did want to just come on because, you know, I was going to cook it in a way. And I, I said, well, I'm going to just go ahead and cook it, you know. I'd say, it is, it is what it is. This channel is raw and uncut over here, baby. Everything's real. Nothing's fake. You know, positive vibes only. Positive vibes only, you guys. Hey, hey. I love it, love it, love it. So, but anyway, yeah, next week, uh, I will start back working next week. So, 
you know, some some days, because, you know, baby, tax season is busy. I mean, which is a good thing. But some weeks, what I will do, because, I, you know, I won't get home. I'm just, you know, letting you know. Some nights, I won't get home till 6.30, 7 o'clock. And by the time I get drive home, Get out of my clothes because you have to dress professional. We can do casual, professional, but we have to dress. Get out of my clothes and it's already dark and all that. You know, uh, you know, I do have good energy. I can film a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's why these are easy. I can film a little bit. But some days, and this is going to be from up to four months, guys. So, y'all share the video. Get it out there. But some days, I will... Um, now, I will stop some days, and I will get something to eat. They have this very good barbecue place by the office. I love their turkey legs. Oh, their turkey legs is one of my faves. And they have this coleslaw. Whoo, this jalapeno coleslaw, baby. It is good. And I get that. So some days I'll come in... I uh, get out of my clothes, put my moo-moos on like I always do, and we'll sit and talk. I'll tell you how my day is going or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then we'll I eat and talk with you guys. So I'll be doing some of that. But other than that, I, I don't like to really eat. Seems like we lose weight during tax season. I mean, we everybody in our office, you know, because we're so busy, back and forth, back and forth. We're not eating, feeding ourselves and stuff because we are totally busy. Y'all know what time it is? Okay, guys. It is bubbling here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not trying to get it brown or nothing. I just wanted to uh, melt the cheese on there. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. I didn't want. I'm not trying to get it all brown or nothing. Oh, look at this, guys. Y'all hear that? Look at that. That's what we just made. Yes, we did. Now we did that. Okay. Oh, guys, look. Oh, this is a non-stick pan. There goes that alarm. Y'all know how my alarm is. And y'all look, I ain't even burned. But it says I am to that alarm. Let me turn that on. Listen it again. Like I'm really burning the house down. But it's really good to have a good alarm, y'all. That's the one in the hall, so forgive me. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we're coming to you today just saying thank you, Lord. You're so worthy to be praised, and we just love you, Lord. Lord, continue to watch over my subscribers, their families, watch over the homeless, and Lord, we, we just thank you for this food, for the nursing of our bodies, for Christ's sake, amen. Amen. Hi. Ooh, guys. Look. Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese, guys. Look at it. It's cheesy. Look at that. Ooh. Look at it. Look at that cheese, guys. Look how that is. That cheese. Ooh. Cheesy, cheesy. Got the mushrooms in it. Let's go ahead and taste it. Yes. Get y'all a little bite. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The mushroom. 
the tuna, the cheese, everything is so delicious. I mean, ooh, now this is good, guys. This is good. Look at that cheese. Look at it. This is really good. Mmm. 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 Ooh, that's good. That is really good. Get y'all one more bite. Tuna casserole, like, huh? With the creamy cheese. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That is really good. Y'all try that. Just a simple recipe. I was saying, well, I, I got to cook something. So, I knew I had that box. So, okay, guys. You guys know I appreciate each and every one of you. A hug from me. Mm. To all of you. Love you all. You guys stay safe. Stay blessed and happy. Stay safe. And y'all take care of yourself. Keep your immune system boosted up, you guys. Okay, bye. Until the next video. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.